How's it going DIY addicts and professionals? Today I'm partnering up with AutoLine Pro. They provide high quality diagnostic tools at great affordable prices. We are here to show you how to perform a smoke test. If you are not familiar with the way the EVAP system functions, please click on the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more DIY goodness. Let's get started. If you are watching this, you just received a DTC code for the Rapid Admission System. Assuming you've already completed our troubleshooting steps, it's time to perform a smoke test. Remember, sometimes a problem can be very simple, so following our troubleshooting steps can help you find the problem very easily. If you have completed the steps, however, and you haven't found the problem, you are in the right place. Let's move on. Today we're using AutoLine Pro's new Ventus smoke machine. It comes with a wide variety of adapters for your needs. This revolutionary device is packed with innovation. It's all self-contained and it's the only one in its market to have this feature. That means you don't have to carry around a compressor, hoses, or power cables while performing the job. Not to mention its ergonomic shape makes it very small and easy to hold within one hand. It also has a very convenient hook on it where you can hook it on wherever you need to. Best of all on this device is its proprietary atomic smoke technology, meaning as soon as you push the button, it instantly produces smoke. Simply connect the hose, press the button, and instant smoke is produced within the system. This saves you time and money. Now onto the good stuff, we're going to perform the smoke test onto this vehicle. Right, so as I mentioned, the EVAP system runs underneath the car, but it also runs on top, right? We have the purge valve that is right next to the intake. So we're gonna work our way from the top and see if we have any leaks up here. This car shot a code for a P04 large leak. Another big key to always understand, as I mentioned in the troubleshooting, and in the steps for smoke testing. Keep in mind, not all cars come with an EVAP service port for smoke testing. For those vehicles, unplugging any lines and injecting the smoke will work just fine. You have to seal off the system. Remember, the vent valve is naturally open, so before smoke testing, the system must be sealed off. Either with a scanner or manually. You can do this under the OBD2 code following procedures, but you can also go to the vent valve, find the pipe that leads to there, and cap it with some kind of plug. I got the Ventus here, ready to go with fluid inside its apparatus. Thankfully for that hook that the Ventus has, I can conveniently hook it right here where it won't be in my line of sight. Once I have the adapter connected to the port line, I'm going to begin to charge the system so it produces smoke. I'm gonna grab my flashlight to ensure that I have a good amount. I'm now going to introduce the smoke into the system. Always start from point A to point B. The EVAP system ends where it enters the intake. So I'm gonna look at that portion of the system and work my way back. Sometimes the system takes a while to charge, so please be patient and be vigilant. As I'm working back, I still don't see any smoke. And as we can see, there's a large leak coming from this hose. And now that I'm examining the hose more closely, I can see there's a large gash. The next step for this problem would be change this hose, erase the codes, drive the car, fill up the monitors, and ensure this was the problem. If the code is gone, you fix the problem. If you still have the code, you have to do more thorough testing with the smoke tester. Another way to introduce smoke into the system is through AutoLine Pro's gas cap adapter. It's the most easiest, quickest way to introduce smoke into the evaporative emission system. Ensure that your area is nice and clean, and then remove the adhesive sticker right in the back. Since we have a gas lit type of gas cap, AutoLine Pro has also designed a tube that opens up this flap. I'm going to insert it to ensure the flap is open, and then with the adhesive facing towards the cap, I'm going to press tightly. Ensure you press on all corners to ensure that the e adhesive is applied appropriately so you do not get smoke escaping from the system. Once I've ensured that it's nice and tight, I can now connect the Ventus smoke machine inside the filler port, which is this rubber unit right in the middle. I'm gonna turn on the Ventus, grab my flashlight, ensure I'm getting smoke. Seeing I have enough fluid within the unit, simply going to insert the smoke machine. And just like that, you're introducing smoke inside the evaporative emission system without evap port. For this portion of the smoke test, I'm going to be performing segmented tests. That means we're only going to be testing the hoses from one point to the other. That way you don't have to seal off the whole system 
and you could be analyzing to check each hose individually if there's any cracks or abnormalities that could cause a leak. From here, I'm going to disconnect a connector right here, follow the hose. In this style, it's a U design, so it's going to be coming up and wrapping all the way down to the fuel tank. So now that I disconnected my connector, I'm going to grab my auto line vents. As we mentioned, it has a great hook that makes it very versatile. So I'm going to place it right here so I have great eye contact with the machine. I can see the level and all its features. I'm going to turn on the vents, ensure that I have smoke coming out of the system. And the connector I disconnected, I'm going to insert the smoke. I'm going to apply it nice and tightly so I do not have any smoke escaping from the area that I'm introducing it. And now I'm going to be following the hose nice and slowly to ensure that there's any leaks going on. Never rush this process, there's no point of pushing yourself. You might get past the problem and now you're double tracking when going back to the issue. So as I can see here, there's no smoke coming out so far. Still working my way down and there's still no smoke. We can see that this top portion is functioning properly. So now I'm gonna whip back around here and go this bottom section. Once we get here, we can see a good amount of smoke coming from a distance. So I'm gonna get my flashlight a lot closer. And as you can see here, there's a huge leak. That means the seal on this connector is faulty and it's not holding in all the fumes. This whole line is going to have to be replaced to ensure that that leak is sealed up properly. Usually this line isn't too much. So with this device, you save a great deal of amount of money changing this part and finding the issue easily. That's a great way to use segmenting diagnosis when it comes to smoke testing. After repair is performed, delete the DTC codes using a reader or a scanner. Here's an example of what a scanner could look like. This is a lot more pricey one. Scanners can range from $50 to $1,000, but if you get a scanner for $50, it'll get the job done. You could also disconnect the negative terminal of the battery to delete the codes. Understand doing this, however, you could delete all the memories within the car. This include the radio, the seats, the windows. So understand that is a liability when doing so. After you do that, test drive the car thoroughly to fill up all the monitors. You can see if the monitors fill up using a scanner tool. This could take to a couple days to a couple weeks, so please be patient when doing this procedure. If you'd like more information on DTCs, scanners, OBD2s, please look into further videos that we'll be producing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel below.